Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm doing a pedicure. This pedicure that you see right here, I have it for one month. I use stickers from Shein and lasted very well. I'm not thrilled with color, but the stickers were fine. If you want to see the video, I will put it in the description below and uh, you can see it. And I will do a removal in this video as well a new design. So stay with me. If you like my channel, please uh, follow, subscribe. And if you uh, like this video, give, us a, give a thumbs up and uh, hit the notification bell. So you will know when I'm posting new videos. All the products that I'm using are in the link in the description below. And you can visit as well my TikTok account, beautifulforlove.nails. To remove these uh, stickers, I'm using a cuticle pusher and as you can see the process is very easy. There is not any damage to natural nail and they are just removed easily. If there is anything left, any part where I cannot remove it, I can use a drill bit or a nail file. These stickers are an easy way if you are lazy to do a pedicure, you can just use stickers and it's done. I would have wanted to try with another color, another theme, because this color, I don't like it. But let's see for future videos. I think I bought some other colors of uh, stickers. I will try them on. Here on the big toe is a little bit tougher to remove. Now I'm forcing it. As you can see, I'm forcing it. I shouldn't do this. I can use the drill machine, but I wanted to see. I wanted to check what how tough it is. Now I'm using the sanding bit, 150 grit and the removal is very easy. See how fast and nice? So I will use this for all nails to just give it a file and to remove any uh, base coat that I used or any stickiness to remove it from nail. And now we are in preparation for a new design. I'm trying to trip them a little bit, not too short but not long either. File shape and shape. The nail file is 100 by 180. You can check in the playlist pedicure. And I have more videos as well with uh, prep and uh, design. Now I'm doing the cuticle area using, the, I'm using the drill bit 21, a diamond fine grit. And I just remove any dead skin and trying to lift the cuticle up. On, um, those there is more dry skin because these are more exposed to um, floor to sand to depending on the area that you are living in if you are wearing more open shoes will be more the uh, dry skin if you are wearing closed shoes your uh, toes will be more protected so it's depending and depending from person to person. Uh, 
Now I just uh, remove any skin that is under nail that needs to be removed. This hard skin that is under nail, this is causing pain, at, at least in um, uh, on the big toe, it's causing a little bit of pain if it's too much. So I'm trying to remove. It's easier to remove this part when you are doing a soak off. It's very easy, but not all the time I'm doing this. So sometimes I'm doing dry pedicure and I use this uh, drill bits. As you can see, corners are more um, dry. It looks like a ingrown type, but it's not. It's nothing um, extreme. And now I'm using the um, a ball diamond bead, fine grit, to smooth the area around cuticle. This one is also removing any small skin left and as well is smoothing the area. These diamond beads are not um, cutting the cuticle, I mean uh, are not causing you any cuts if you are using them on skin. And now I'm just trying to remove anything that is left with a cuticle nipper. This one I like to use it mostly on toes and I think it's dedicated for toes, not for nails, but I use it as well on nails. It's from Stalex. There are so many different cuticle nippers for uh, any uh, hand size and uh, to be comfortable for you to use it so you have a plenty of variety to choose from well I can say with this cuticle nipper is like a never ending uh, time because uh, the more I cut the more I ha I have to cut it's like you don't I keep continue to clean until uh, I'm uh, satisfied with uh, the results. You can see in my playlist as well uh, for uh, nail prep and pedicure, as I said, as well uh, nail designs and um, I have them categorized by shape or by gel or dipping powder have a look on my channel let me know in comments if you want to see any particular design maybe i can try to to do it i usually do not recreate designs of other i, I see uh, nail artists they are doing this but uh, i don't know if it's something for me But uh, if you have any ideas, you can write them in com comment down below and I would be happy to do a video. Now I just uh, disinfect the area and I think I'm ready for, um, for a new design. No, I, I'm not ready yet. I still need to cut more and more. Now it's ready. I use the bone control, the base coat. Bone control we know, we are using only one uh, layer, no cure, just let it dry or don't let it dry like I do and uh, go with the base coat. This one you have to cure it for 30 seconds. 
usually base coat on uh, toes i'm adding a little bit thicker layer just for protection i'm using the model one's uh, color cube solid um, cream gel and i decided to use this yellow off-white color i think is perfect for summer and uh, is applying well i noticed one thing with this uh, solid cream gel that if you are removing the shiny layer of base coat the application is easier i didn't remove it in this video as you can see but if you want to order this uh, this palette they have model ones they have plenty of colors you can use my link is in the description below and uh, you have also some discount codes once you are using my list my link um, you can uh, you can use it by uh, removing the shine after uh, curing the base coat so as i said they have plenty of colors and mix of nudes and pastels and uh, shiny and thermal all color tube uh, color cube uh, type and now i'm using the foil transfer gel if you use foil before you know there is a separate transfer foil uh, gel is a specific one that will by by curing will uh, accept the um, adhesion from uh, foil so this is the foil that I, the foil i bought it from sheen and uh, a transfer for a transfer foil gel i bought it from aliexpress well with this foil you didn't see too much because it was the wrong choice of foil as uh, almost the same color what uh, what I have on gel on uh, gel polish, so I just added a little bit of shape there. I don't know lines there, just to make it a little bit more visible. But there is not too much difference, as you can see. And that is all. I top coat for sixty seconds, and this is all. This is the final result. If you like it, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, please. I will see you in my next video. I do think that this is a pedicure for summer. It's easy. You can try it on. I would recommend for you to get these color cubes from Model Ones. Just go on their website. Check with my link in the description below and order yours. They have amazing colors and the texture is amazing thank you bye bye